Welcome to Trading Lounge and the uh, US tech stocks. And this is the uh, XLK here. Okay, so that's um, sector uh, ETF. And what I wanted to talk about here was just the bigger picture that, you know, obviously, you know, there's markets doing different things. The banks are under pressure and, you know, there's all sorts of things going on. But the you know, the, the leading to the upside from the AI side of things um, and <clears throat> those tech stocks that are that are creating that, this is what's sort of being created. So now I just wanted to paint the bigger picture here is that, you know, there are stocks that uh, have taken out the top here, the previous high over here, and there's stocks that haven't, but have still got the same pattern here like say Google. Google's up at the 61.8% of the previous move down here. So there's different stocks at different stages of all of this but uh, in a nutshell they'll all be heading towards their wave one up here and wave two to come back. And this is where we are at the moment. So as a general moving average this particular sector would be is that you can also sort of imagine we've had these ones and twos here Right, if you know a little bit about Elliot, and then you'll have the middle of the trend, and then you'll get into the uh, fours and fives. And this is where it gets quite tricky uh, in here because these wave fours here, they can get rather complicated in all of this. So it's kind of good to know where you are and you'll need a bit of patience to get through those and also not to lose money. And this will reflect back into stocks as well. But coming into the old high over here, you can expect... Um, you know, resistance and selling and <clears throat> and all sorts of things going on at this point. So they will all tie in nicely with these uh, wave fours. But yeah, so this is the bigger picture. So this is quite a steep move down. If if that is a high up here, it's probably not that high, but, um, you know, probably around the 200, this will play out. Um, but it can go anywhere from, you know, 200 to 230, really. We'll just see how it goes. Um, but can have a deep pullback, that 61.8%. It may just have a 40% pullback. So don't take that to, um, to heart as such just yet. You know, it's something that we need to work through. But, <coughs> you know, we need to point out that the nice run that you've had in stock so far, uh, it's just, that pitch is going to change now, you know, as we go into these, you know, where we've done this four, this four, this four, and this four, these are going to get sort of more complicated uh, in here. So yeah, it's just worth sort of mulling that over. But this is the general picture of the, of the markets that we, you know, that we look at. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, we've got all these to go up here. So um this brings us to to, uh, to to Apple and some of these markets, you know, I don't always get it right, of course, and you know that. And it's, to me, it's always a, a bit of a mission task in, in, in tweeting things, tweaking things through a little bit. So this particular move up here, I mean, all the structures count quite nicely, but you could count it in a different way. But one of the other things that I wanted to mention uh, with this here as well, sorry about that, um, is that with all the stocks that we look at, we've all we've got to tie them in all to this fifth wave. Now I don't see that being a problem once we get this fourth wave here. The rest of them will fall into place on this fourth wave here, and that we can just track five waves up here. But uh, some of the stocks are all at different uh, different points here. Now I've got that blue wave three in a lot of them, and then in some of them I've got this uh, orange wave three, which is one degree higher. So obviously um, I've you know, can make mistakes with, with these things. Um, but at the same time, we the mistakes will be very small because, um, you know, on an, this is why we track them on an intraday basis and, you know, bore the hell out of everybody because, um, you know, the devil's in the detail and uh, we can continue to work with that. So this is a situation here where I've counted up as one and two here and then going all the way up to three here. And <clears throat> it counts quite nicely to three here. Right. So <clears throat> now I could put wave four in there, but it just looks a little bit silly. It's a bit small. You know, it's smaller than the previous smaller degree and also this one as well. So it looks a little bit silly. So I might need to look at this as wave one up here and wave two to here 
Now, I know we're going to go higher from here because this is a corrective move here and I have five waves here. So I know we're going to go up further. So these are the sorts of things that, um, you know, that, uh, that sometimes I just don't know what's what the goal is. And it's not because, um, uh, I mean, the answer is there and, you know, one person can get it and another person can't and next time that person can get it and the other person can't. So it's a bit of a mixed thing. But all I can say to you is that we're going to go higher we're getting five waves to the upside and three waves to the downside. So we're still in this trend. This trend hasn't broken down. But I would have expected this wave four to pull back to this wave four, or at least within reason, you know, and it hasn't sort of done that. So, yeah, I need to uh, look at that in a different way. So I'm just going to cut straight through to 100 ticks because I've just been chatting too much. And this is where we are at the moment. Um, let me just bring in some more data. So, yeah, this top here, we've, I've got two threes here. So I was looking for, you know, a way four and just trying to tie it in with the, with the NASDAQ as well and, and you know, and the S&P and they kind of, <clears throat> you know, kind of, together there in one way or another. So we've got a few long trades in here and so on. And we looked at taking some profit here for the folks that didn't want to come down for this particular journey here, understandable, and then getting back in <clears throat> over here for this. So we do have, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five here. And, and we could probably look at this as uh, five up here. I could probably bring that across here, not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so we should still be uh, moving to the uh, to the upside, we've got this stop here. I'm just going to leave this stop out of the way, just in case this is some sort of um, A wave, B wave, and C wave to to here and then. I doubt it because we've taken the top out there, but we were looking at this wave four here and maybe expanding over here. I mean, if it's the orange wave four, then we should be coming back down a bit deeper. But this is not what the market's telling me. The market's telling me that. It wants to get pulled up here so <clears throat> so we're still on the long side at this point so i'll leave that um, at that um 88 a bit of a profit taking number so expect um you know a bit of a dance across uh here before uh heading higher and uh amazon here so we're looking at um so it, it, it hasn't come that far you know it hasn't even reached its 50, 60% retracement level yet, you know? And so therefore I also like to look at these <clears throat> and we'll perhaps we'll look at some of the stocks moving up as a corrective pattern, you know, as an A wave, a B wave uh, and a C wave up here. So we have all of this as an A wave here and a B wave up here. So I'm just keeping an eye on any turns that can occur up, up here as well. Now, obviously with this particular market here, we've had, um, I had this bit of a spike in here. Now, I just tend to follow the volume and <coughs> um, as such. So the volume does take us a little bit higher here. So it does gives us the ability to count five waves within this partic particular structure on a daily chart here. And uh, yeah, so I probably should put this wave one over here as well for that but um, we'll just leave it there for the time being. And once again, this wave four that I was looking for here is a little bit small. I suppose it's sort of okay compared to the other little corrections, but um, anyway, I'm just aware of, of that. We're currently at group one here, which is the 30. So if you know the trading levels, we're at 100, then one, two, three here. So it's going to take a little while to establish the number 30, number three as support. Once it gets that, then it should get just sucked straight up to the 150 at that point without too much problem. It will have more problems at the 130 than anywhere else. And uh, yeah, so that's that's where we are at the moment with that. So yeah, sort of scratch your noggin about that, but the rest of it counts okay as one and two and one, two, three, four, five for third, fourth and five up here for this. So I feel like I'm on track, but yeah, it's just sort of, you know, sharing my sort of thoughts. Well, that way four should have been uh, a little bit bigger as well. Now, are we on 100 ticks here? So that's going into a smaller, situation here by a long shot let's get a bit more data in here 
So, uh, yeah, um, in fact, I've got wave four here, not sitting over here, which is another thing as well. But um, so this, this, all of this here caused me a little bit of grief as well. I wouldn't say grief, that's probably not the right word, but I understood that it was bullish. You know, they were bullish patterns because they were in three waves. It was just the best way to count them. So I haven't really bothered sort of counting them in a way. And I can see here that we've got this, um, we had a stop here and folks could have brought the stop up to here as well, but we just, we don't need that now, just in case you wanted to protect this little guy here. But um, so we've got three four and five here <clears throat> so i still don't quite know the best way to count this so i'm just going to leave it for a little while it's not going to harm us in any way i mean at looking at it as one two three four and five up here <clears throat> that kind of works for me you know so now if that's going to be the case then you know it would that would be invalidated if we could take that top out here so now that we've got this five wave we can bring that down to the top of the b wave here because you can see that this well, i suppose you could get one two three four five out of here but it looks more like an abc pattern here with an a and a b and the c over here so <clears throat> um that needs to go over there big pardon so we can look at this here we'll just wait to see how big it is first but um just in case it gets any bigger but in a nutshell, we're looking at it like that. So the takeaway here really is that um, we can go along above that B wave. We'll just see how far this drops here. <clears throat> I doubt if it will come down this far because normally when the B wave here, if that even is a B wave, if that B wave See how high it is compared to the, the previous top here. It's telling me that it's strong. So, um, yeah, let's just see how it um, how it plays. Let's see how it plays out here. But that would be the long trade here. But if you're going to go along here too, you look for a little classic trading level pattern over here. You just don't take out that top. You know, you go like this. <clears throat> This is an important number, by the way, you know, so um, let's just, we need to build up a good base there. We, I mean, the, all of this across here is a nice accumulation process that has played out in this distribution process here. Um, but yeah, let's just get a grip on this because if this is going to get any deeper here, then I'll need to look at this um, here and here and then look at this in terms of, what's that, 61.8% down here. So we'll put it over here so we can see it a bit better <clears throat> so it can either come back to here or it could even come back to here if i put um i'll just see how it goes but um might need to put this wave three over here anyway um but as soon as that top is taken out there then all my fears are settled at that point that would know we'll be going higher because I've, I've got to move away from this being one two three four and five up here i know this is pretty weird here otherwise i have to look at all of this as one and two and one and two here and then continuing up that's kind of what i'm sort of hoping for as well uh with this trade here if you want to get out then get out um you know here and take the money off the table there's nothing wrong with that you can always just get back in um but otherwise you'll need to leave the stop out of the way here because we've got we want at, in the at the end of the day we want this number here the 130 as a as a support <clears throat> like this so if that's the 130 um we want this as support we've just arrived here so we need this we need that we need this so it's going to be a while um so it doesn't really matter if you take you know this money off the table in fact let's just do that um and we, you know we're just going to go back in over here um because it's just not that clear i know that we're still bullish in the bigger picture i don't have a problem with that it's just how much heat you can handle with all of this Okay, so a bit messy that one. So then we're over to NVIDIA. And um, so with NVIDIA, we've got, um, well, we've just been playing out at the 4,000 here. There's two ways to look at this here. So uh, short-term traders can go along here and exit at 450. And we can look at this as one and two and three and four here, pulling back to the 38.2%. And this would be the A wave, the B wave here, 
Um, probably put the B wave here as well. We could look at this as one, two, three, four, five here, or one and two and three, four, five. But shouldn't come. The four fifteen should be about it, really. Now, if it's going to be, that would be wave three. If we look at it as wave one here, all of this is wave one and two, then we can come back to the four here and then move up and we'll pick it back up at this point. We don't have anything in here at, uh, in this point, so it doesn't matter at, the, at this stage, um, but that's where we are at the moment with this. So still a bullish trend to the upside with all this. We're just working through this number here. The idea, as you know, with the trading level, if the 430 becomes the tested support, then we're leaving this number. Now, it's a bit of a rough journey in, in here to understand if this is support. I won't go through all that at the moment, but obviously it's not support. Um, the other point here too is that if the 420, number two, this is one, two, three here, group one of 400, if that becomes the retested resistance, then it's gonna be pulled down to the 400. Now, it's okay to spike down to, um, to 15 or 14. It's okay to do that. Um, but if it if it gets tested here and then takes that low out, then you know it's going to be pulled down to here. So that's, you know, the story. But anyway, just repeating that for new folks. And uh, yeah, so that's that. And this is Meta Platform. So it's really fanging it to the upside uh, here. But, you know, as I mentioned in this particular uh, sector uh, ETF here, this is, you know, this is just another picture of, heading up to wave one here. So this is the same thing here as well. Now there's probably different ways to, to count all of this up here. I, I, I understand that. Um, but if you were trading long up here, you would understand that um, the resistance is gonna start coming in now at this block here. It's gonna be one of them and obviously the, the other top here. So we could say that realistically all of this top here it's going to be a struggle at that point. And we will be in, you know, we're starting four, four and four. Uh, I'm missing a four. No, that's okay. But yeah, so, you know, it's going to be tough in those, in those spaces, you know. So as long as you know that what you see is not what you get next. So yeah, we've got this as one and two, one and two, three, four, and then one, two. This third wave is becoming longer than wave one now. So that's nice. And like I said, at the end of the day, um, we have to tie all these markets into this number here, this number one here. But we can do that once we get this way four in. That's going to be the easiest way because this journey up here in some of the stocks is a little bit, they've all got their own little personality and they're all doing their own thing. But this way four should sink them in properly and then we'll have this move here that we should be able to it's an impulse wave so it, it won't be too difficult um so we should be able to pin down the top without too much problem and like I said, there's different ways to count all of this up up here i think that we've got um another count here for this this is another way to count it having one and two one and two one and two and three four it still kind of brings it into much the same sort of thing as well so it doesn't really matter at this point to be honest but it's just really following <clears throat> some certain principles we know that when we hit the 300 that's where it's being sucked up to now it's going to have a correction there you know <clears throat> i'll just go to 100 ticks and <clears throat> um Bring in a bit more data here. So um, we did have a long trade in here somewhere and um, I know we got stopped out on that little spike here. Um, a little bit unfortunate, but uh, that's where the cookie crumbles. So I've, we've had this as wave three and four here. So I'm going to look at this as one, two, three, four and five here for one and back for two and then one and two here and then building up into a third wave and there's going to be the fourth and the fifth so probably you know into group one so the ten's going to be a thing here but if you're a short-term trader then you really need just to trade to that number if you're a longer term trader then you will need to think about if you're holding you know if you're in the uh if you're in the holding you know for a long time then you're going to have to take on board group one and group two so that means that your stop needs to be still down here for this because this is the swing range of this 
Okay, so short term traders exit here. There's going to be, you know, a fair bit going on over here for this, but you might be able to hold through, you know, a fair bit of it. You may even get up to 320 on this without too much problems. Um, we'll see. Push all of those up there further. Not a big deal. Yeah, it does get a bit sort of tricky at these points, you know. We'll see how it jams up in here. I'm just giving it a bit of space. Alrighty. Um, so what have we got here? Netflix. So Netflix and so did meta platforms, you know, they came down quite strong here. They're they play out really quite nicely as um, wave twos. This is a weekly chart. Let's just go to, I think I might even have bearish count on here. Let me just go to the daily chart here. Yeah, you know, I, I like to always look at both sides of the market. And if we were looking at the bearish side, let's just say that the whole world's going to fail or something. So then this would be failing pretty much at this point at the 500 with an A and a B and a C here at the 61.8% and then come down here. I mean, it's good to understand, isn't it, you know? Five is the second strongest number, so it's definitely going to be some consolidate. And over anyway, the effort, the proof is in the pudding, so it's over, all of this consolidation over here, and that will play back out over here. It might not, may not be um, as volatile as that, but... Um, There'll be some stuff there. So on back to the bullish count on this, it's kind of the same thing to the upside, really. Um, we've got one and two, and we're looking for three and four and five. And if I've made a mistake here, then um, then this wave three is in here. But that's going to give me, I think that's a little bit too quick on the draw here just yet. So I think we can come pretty much up here for this, and then we'll come back, and then we'll be up here for that. We can see a nice definition of one and two in here, you know. So anyway, that's the third wave, and we have been putting a bit of work into that. So let's just go to um, 100 ticks, and this is the, that's the wave two here. Okay, so <coughs> one and two. So it's, it's actually quite, let me just get in a bit more data here, because it's quite, um, it's quite complicated. So what that could mean, if that, because I normally wave two is simple, and wave four is going to be complicated, right? This wave four over here. But because this one, number two, is complicated, that means wave four can be simple at this point. We'll see how we go. Um, but we've been counting up from wave two to, um, from wave two, uh, we're looking for five waves in blue, one, two, three, four, 38.2% retracement level here, and then up for five here for wave three. Uh, and then wave four, <clears throat> so you can kind of see where we are at the moment. Um, yeah, so um, I think we're just about there at the moment for this. I mean, we had a couple of long trades. We've had we've got these still, <clears throat> and we've got some positions up here. But we talked about taking some money off the table um, on that B wave there because we understood that was five waves, so we we knew we we're going to go down a little bit. Look, we're probably finished here, but. Um, uh, and we'll probably just go straight up, but if not, well, then we'll just come down and, and go up at that point. So there's not a lot here for this. Um, if you want to add to this again or you want to get in, then at this stage, the 430 with a classic trading levels pattern. So you got you have to wait for the first high above the level. You could go in earlier, really. You could probably just go along the top here, but what I'll be looking for is one, two, three, four, five here in this case. Still, that's five waves there. Yeah, so you could go long above there if you wanted to. But whoopsie daisy. I'm just going to put it as a smaller position here. So, because if it goes past this, then it's going to be five waves to the upside. Do you know what I mean? So that's why it's probably in. But we'll just thin the line out there. And um, 
Yeah, because that would be five waves, and then this would be five waves here. So anything above that would give us another five waves. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, then look for the first high above the level here, and you're good to go at that point. You have to wait for that first high. You know the routine. Um, but, yeah, if you've got stuff in here, you don't need to overload, of course. Um, the 38 point percent here if I made a total balls up of it well then it can come back down here further to that point but um yeah let's just see how that plays out and then we come over to alphabet so alphabet's one that's come from the top down to the bottom and come back up to the 61.8 percent it's been lagging uh down here for you know quite some time and it's got some weird patterns and this is this is my corrective pattern to the upside there's two of them so we can look at it as an abc for the w and then the x here and then another five waves for the a wave b wave and then one another five waves here for this for five of c of y of b here so It could fail from this point now because i'm just talking logically now if it takes that top out here then that this count here the wxy business is invalidated however it still leaves the possibility of having an abc for the a wave the b wave here and then looking at this here as one and two and this move to the top here instead of being a c it can be three and then four and still have one more move to the upside for wave five of C of B, and then still come down here. <clears throat> so it's it's just all of this is a process. So it doesn't matter if you think this is right or wrong. But in from my tiny little mind is that um, once we take that top out here, then I can invalidate the whole bearish count here. But there is a good case for a bearish count because this is really, you know, this whole, this whole move here, you know, it doesn't it's not. You know, it's not that crash hot. We can go one and two, one and two. Let's just have a look at the bullish count for this now. <clears throat> so this is the other way to count it on the bullish side. One and two and one and two and one and two and then three here and four here, which is probably finished now. We're going up here for five of three in that case. So it's pretty straightforward sort of count. Um, and, you know, we've been waiting to go long in here. And I think that we did talk about it. Let me just go to 100 ticks or something. Yeah, it's a bit messy in here. But um, so, yeah, so we had this wave through here. We're looking for the B wave that got a bit complicated, but I felt we got through it sort of okay. We didn't get sucked in going long here. And then we counted down as one, two, three, four, five. Obviously, we've talked about going long on <clears throat> on the Friday. Um, I just got to get my Picasso drawings here out the way. So we talked about being long on the 120 here. So you may have a long position there. And uh, may have talked about i don't know what oh this was the pullback i guess from that area so anyway so and then we go along so you may be long here so what we can do <coughs> is first of all we're just going to put the stop here because we don't want it going down any further than that so if you do have a long because i said this would be one of the better long trades and the reason for that is because it's got the ugliest correction you know it's got the biggest correction so that means it's going to take out this top here so um, I don't even think for the longer term traders we got out of any of these as well. So um, so we're here now. This will be the stop. This is the stop for all of them. So let's just look at this here. This is three waves up here so far by the looks of it. Yep. So we could call that one. I could call that two, but I don't have five waves here yet. So I would also just being practical, have to put this over here because I could get five waves down here before going up here. Now we would have talked long with the first high over here. So we need to rinse and repeat that. So we can go to here and I mean, it could just go straight up from here too. This could be one, two, three, four and five up here. Right. So 
whichever way, but we still need that first high above the level just to be sure, just to be sure, and then we can go up from that point. So we can just copy this and put this over here, turn that green. Yeah, so I think that's all looking pretty good at this point. So getting support on the 123 is, is the top of group one of the 120, which is a minor level, and these are sub-levels. And we get support here, then um, <clears throat> once the 125 becomes the support, the same thing again here as well. Um, <clears throat> we'll just draw this simple with the first high above the level, but you'll have, you know, you'll have this particular pattern here, you know, the arrival and so on here. So you can just work that. But pretty much we can go again at that point. And once this, once this here becomes the tested support here, <clears throat> then you can bring the stop up to that point. But that has to become the support first, okay? And then you can't move it from here until until the number five here has had a tested support, you know? And that means that you've got the, you've been triggered in on the long side here, you know? Once that's been triggered in and you're okay with that, um, then you can bring it up to this point, you know? It's just step, each level needs to become support before you can move it. Um, but yeah, let's see if that gives us one, two, three, four here and then a push up here. If that top comes out here, then that's, that's what you want at that point. And it also removes it being an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here by taking the top out, you know, one, two, three, four, five for the C wave. So then you, you're pretty safe at that point, really, with all of that. Um, radio. So that's, um, Google and Microsoft count is quite nice really it's quite simple so from the bottom here we've got one it's a daily chart one two and then one and two and five waves up here for one and two there's a bit of issues in here but um and then i've either got this three here or this three here this is another wave you know four that's a little bit small for me at this stage um because this wave four really should pull back to this wave four here that's the thing so if that's not the case then i'll need to bring that wave three up here and this wave four here in another way too there's different ways to see things of course we can see the stochastics pulling back here on the daily chart well that's got to be kind of positive isn't it, it hasn't clicked over yet so it might need you know two more sessions in there or something but it's, it's gearing up for that so that's one thing the other thing is the trading levels again. So we've got 300, then we've got one, two, three. So we're getting, um, well, we've got the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, sort of an ABC pattern here. So it's trying to establish support here. Um, um, so yeah, uh, the trend is still definitely to the upside. We're still getting five waves to the upside. So that's all good. I don't think it can be finished at this time. We can't look at this as one, two, three, four here because this overlaps this one. So we're pretty much on track here, you know, of looking for this wave one up here as well. So of course I can make mistakes and tweaking things, as I said, but um, generally speaking, um, we're on the right track. Um, uh, this was pretty tricky, some of this in here, but um, this is just going to get, now that we're in wave, now that we've got either this wave four here or I'll put this wave four over here, one of the two, in one way or another, all these fours are going to make it a bit more trickier at this point. <clears throat> so, but anyway, we'll still be able to pluck out moves to the upside, but that's kind of where we are. So that's kind of good to know and so on. So now we need to go into maybe 100 ticks again here. Okay, so I've got two threes here, okay? So I've still got to kind of get my head around it a bit. Um, I have started to look at it. I did a bit on the weekend. Um, so um, I could put this way four or, or this, this way four here, whichever you know, um, at this stage, let me just put that in there. <clears throat> I could put both of these over here for that, but it just seems to count quite nicely down as five waves. So I've got to be a little bit careful. Um, so that's 
that's one, two, three, four, five. So, and that's taken out. So this is corrective. So we need to take out this. We don't need that there. This is, this low is going to be taken out. So we'll need to probably look at this in terms of um, one and two here. This might need to finish off here. It's a bit hard. It's going in the opposite direction of the other markets, but um, <clears throat> kind of got one, two, three, four, five here, then a nice third wave here. So we could get, you know, we could get five waves out of this here. Could be, um, could be a B wave, it could be wave one here. It wouldn't be that wave one, so I'll just get rid of that for a moment. It could be this wave one, copy that. <clears throat> and this wave two here could just come down to here. It can be five waves up for one, an A and a B and a C wave, and then move up. That's why I've got that, had that green line there, right, of course. Anyway, um, you could go long above here if you if you wish, you know. Um, you could probably even go long above this little guy here. But otherwise, the safer trade will be over here for this. Well, it's not that safe either because this could be an A and a B and a C and then come down here as well. Yeah, no, we, on there we can get the classic trading levels pattern on 340 and we can go long at that point. We'll just see how this plays out here. And then we come over to Tesla and um, yeah. So we've got a few long positions in here and we've got a long position here. We took some money off the table here. And now we're in this correction here. So this is blue wave two here, blue wave three here. So that's roughly there and there. So that's the 38.2% retracement level. So we can come back down to that number. So we're going to keep the stop out of the way and I've got it does appear to be well one two and then one two three four five the third wave fourth wave here a bit of overlap probably count that differently if you look at that spiky top but we can get five waves out of here we can look at that as a B wave um, it does mean that you could also go long above that top there um, but otherwise we will be looking for One, two, three, four, and five here for the third wave, fourth wave, and fifth wave here. Yep, so that's probably about it. If we do go below the um, the 250 here, then the classic trading levels pattern over here on the way back up is what you're looking for. So the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, you know, that type of thing. You can get a bit messy. I mean, here was a bit messy, that's for sure. But that's why we went long over here. So we kind of got it right, you know what I mean? Just didn't go that far, that's all. Um, but that's the nature of the beast. So that's that. Um, so, yeah, some of these stocks can come down here on the um, the ones that were trending down on the Friday will continue to trend down <clears throat> on the Monday. We've been keeping an eye on BAC and Goldman's here. And um, as I mentioned with Goldman's is that um, taking this low out here, it's not, it's not the, you know, it, it's, it's not the end of it because, I mean, we can look at Goldman's here as an A wave here and ABC for the B wave here. Um, and then coming down for the C wave here. So a C wave over here for this, right? And then we've got one and two here and one and two here. And then we'll be coming down for a third wave here. Now, if we we're going to catch this third wave down here, we're going to, um, we wanted that 
load. I mean, the thing with this is that I could look at this as wave one here and wave two over here with an expanded flat, you know, an A and a B and a C wave over here and go up from that point. That's possible. But I know from BAC, it's not, it's telling me something, um, you know, uh, something different at this, at this point. So anyway, what we're going to do is we've just been watching this drop here and it's probably got a bit more to go, but then it's going to bounce back here. So when it bounces back, it's either going to go up here or we can look to short it and then we'll be on the short side here and we'll be at the right place because we'll be on the third of the third of the third here and we'll be coming down at this point. But in this point here, we can see that um, the stochastics here, it's still got a bit more to come down. Um, and uh, this is 10,000 ticks. So we can see the range is a bit small in, in this now. So it's kind of getting ready for a turn. So we'll just wait that out. But we just wanted to keep a bit of an eye on it because um, it's nice to have a couple of short trades in while you've got some longs in as well. Alrighty, I'm going to leave it all at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Cheers.